I'm really excited to be introducing to you my YouTube channel, Precious Bashuti Tips, Tutorials, and so much more. Like a lot more. Like a lot. A lot. A lot more. But here's how it will all go down. Every week I will be making available to you video tutorials. The first video or part one will be pattern making tutorial and the second week which is part two will be the construction from the pattern to the finished product. If any of these tutorials and tips will be becoming useful to you, be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss a week and you don't want to miss a video. Trust me, it's going to be really awful. Like terrible for you. You're going to be behind. It's like class, guys. Like, while you're tuned in on this video, let us get you ready for your fashionable journey with me. <laughs> Here are all the equipment that you're going to need that you need to buy for yourself. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. So here are the equipment that you will need to start your garment and pattern making. You'll need a bunch of pins. I have mine on a pin magnet. You will also need label markers or label stickers to label the wrong and the right side of your fabric. You'll also need a pencil, preferably a clutch pencil, and you'll also need an eraser. I just don't have one in this video. You'll need a pen, um, any kind of pen to mark your patterns, you know, to know which pattern is which. You'll need a chalk or fabric marker. You will need a fabric thread. This one will be matching whatever color fabric you will be using at the time. Here is a fabric pen. This you can use if you don't want to use the chalk or the fabric marker. I prefer this, basically. Then you will need a seam ripper. This you will use to rip out the seams if you want to undo something and redo it again. Maybe you made a mistake somewhere. This is the little guy that you use. Then you will use this thing that you get in your mathematical set. I don't remember what they call it, but yeah, you will need it for contouring, which you will learn later on in the tutorials. You'll also need a pattern notcher. This is used to notch your patterns so that you can match each pattern and it just makes life easier when you get to the sewing machine. This little guy here is called a tracing wheel. This we use when we trace our patterns. Um, you'll learn more about that as well later on and you use the tracing mat to do so. There are three types of scissors that I use. The first one is paper scissors. This is only used for papers, nothing else but paper. Then you get an embroidery scissor. Uh, it's very small, it's convenient, you cut out threads, um, yeah. And this big guy right here is your fabric scissors. This you only use for fabric because you just want clean cut fabrics and um, yeah, we use that for fabrics only. Then you need a measuring tape because obviously you need to measure your form, yourself, the person you're dealing with. You'll also need this for your patterns. Um, this is an invisible tape. You can also use sellotape, but I just prefer that. So I'm going to move all of this to the side so that we can deal with what type of rulers you will need because you will need those rulers, especially for your patterns. The first one is called an L shape or an L set square. I don't know why they call it that, but nonetheless, it's an L and it's a ruler. And um, you just use it for when you start off your patterns and etc. Then you get French curves. Um, they come three in a pair. Um, this is very cheap actually. It's like 40 bucks or something like that when you buy it. Then you get your real French curve. This I use in a lot of my videos instead of the other three French curves because it's just more convenient. And um, yeah, once you have this, your life is literally sorted. 
Then last but not least, the grading ruler. It is not a typical ruler as you can see by the red lines and whatnot. It's used for grading and I use it for a whole lot of other stuff as well. So when you have this, you're set for life, really. And then don't forget your tracing mat, as I've mentioned. This you use with your tracing wheel for your patterns and it's just basically a black mat. So for my sewing machine, I bought myself a Empusol 128 dressmaker machine. It's a pretty cool machine. It's not very strong, but you know, it does the job and it's been doing some pretty badass garments this far. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good machine. It's a good start of a machine. What I like about it is this little thing over here that chops off the threads because I normally lose my scissors a lot during sewing. It also had a thread tension. Um, it has a lot of thread options that you could use. Also, it does buttons. Um, and it's a pretty cool machine for a start. It also has the free arm for when you want to put in your sleeves and stuff. And in this free arm box, you could actually put your stuff inside there if you're a person that loses stuff often like myself. So going on onto what I use to serge or to finish my garments, I have a Empisol model S4D overlocker or serger if you wanna. Um, this is very convenient, it's very affordable, it's very nice. I love this free arm thing that they have on it where I can use it for my sleeves and stuff. Um, it's also very easy to thread because it has a little guide on the inside that tells you what to thread where and how and that's just pretty awesome. It's a very small machine but it's a good start off for an overlocker and the nice thing is that once you have thread this it's really awesome you just change the thread it's very easy I'll do a video on that too one day just leave it in the comment if you would like me to do so one last equipment that you're going to need is a dressmaker doll this I bought 500 rand at Metro Home City in Pretoria CBD if you don't want to buy this, um, you could go for a cheaper option, which is this. This one is from the Fashion District in Joburg. I think this costs about like 200 or less. You can use this one too. It's half scale though. This is what I'll be using for a lot of my videos, but it's very useful, it's cost effective, and it saves you a lot of fabric, basically. But you need a dressmaker doll. If you don't have one, you can use yourself, your parents, your friends, but you need to fit your clothes to see if they fit properly and yeah, that's just basically your last equipment in your equipment box. Until we meet again for our first tutorial, bye!